All right, Spencer Mac here, bless you guys. Whew. Just got done mowing the yard. Somebody's gotta do it. And making this video to update you guys on my muscle gaining training experimentation. There are too many variables in it at this point because of myself. If you watched my last video in um, what was it called? about October about uh, how I went off the train and was consuming more calories, eating some junk food, just not caring. Before I started that point, before I got off the train, I was up three and a half, four pounds, and I hadn't changed my caloric intake. All I changed was myself training harder and having a higher percentage of my macros protein. I gained three and a half or four pounds that I was maintaining, and this is after five or six weeks. August. Six weeks. <laughs> I was holding on to three extra pounds just from training more and eating more protein. Um, so a few things that I realized after, so I got off, I've been back on the last 10 days. When I got back on, it was 148 pounds. Okay. I gained about 10 pounds, nine pounds in a month of October of my overindulgence and slackness. I was not training during that period. Not that much at all. Um, and for the last two weeks or so, I have been training again and I've been on the last 10 days, ever since the beginning of November, counting the calories. So it's gonna be a while. This is a long-term experiment, right? I'm not gonna go a couple months and then judge it. Um, it's gonna be a while until I have like a real clean, clear, this is what happens. So some frustration that I fell off a little bit on that, but I'm back on it and I'm stoked to be here. It's so much better on this side of the fence. A um, Couple things I noticed, one, I can gain weight really easily. Um, after doing this kind of diet for over a year now, it's been a year and four or five months or so, my body has definitely become more efficient at absorbing nutrition and utilizing it, recycling it. The fact that I can gain weight while training more, putting more stress on my body, and all I had to do was actually put more resistance on and uh, eat more protein. That's pretty insane. So once I started consuming more calories, I gained weight easily. And I've noticed not only did I gain it easily, I'm losing it more slowly than normal. Okay, because I've been on ketogenic diet, eating only at night, um, under 1500 calories, and I'm like 146 right now. So I've only lost two pounds in 10 days, which in a past um, version of myself, I would have lost much more and more rapidly. So. I find that pretty fascinating. Um, just more efficient, the body becomes more efficient. Um, definitely feel good, I feel good now that I'm back on it. feel good now that I've been training. I definitely um, can feel that I have 10 extra pounds. <laughs> Another variable in this equation uh, is all the probiotics and bacteria that I've been playing with for the last couple months has a market effect on your body's ability to absorb nutrition as well. So that's another variable that could be playing into my situation of, of uh, building and keeping weight and being more efficient in that school. So fascinating stuff. So that's something to know, like if you adapt your body, there's no going back to three meals a day, to eating more calories because your body will become more efficient and you'll put weight on more easily. I know. So if you want your life to be more full of food <laughs> than, than life, what's the funny paradox here though? The longer your life is, the more food you'll eat, even if it's less every day, right? We wanna eat more, it'll shorten our life. We actually don't even get to end up enjoying as much food as we would if we lived a good 20 years longer. I'm thinking we can actually do more than that. So take that into account. Let's see, um, the training is a little different. One key thing I've found for myself is to have it scheduled. And I train Monday, Wednesday, Friday, just heavy resistance training, going back and forth between legs and upper body, um, doing power lifting, cleans, uh, deadlifts, squat thrusters, doing a lot of dips and gym rings, enjoying that. And on the days in between, it's like a lot more yoga. The morning tends to be more fluid, like open my body up, and the evening is more 
more pressure, more uh, resistance. Whew. So, feeling good. Trying to think of any other questions that might come up. Oh. One thing I feel in myself is when I get to the point when I can That's the stomach vacuum exercise. I've shown that in a past video. I wake my body up doing things like that in a combination with breathing exercises and it wakes up the core, it wakes up the engine of the body. One thing I've noticed is whenever I'm full, I'm cloudy, I've been eating too much, when I have too much in my body, I can't do that comfortably. That's always a good marker of how I'm doing basically in my life and how much I'm ingesting, how dialed my diet is, if I can do that first thing in the morning and it doesn't bother me. So really something that I noticed <laughs> once I was just eating too much, just it, I became lax and my ability to engage myself at my center got a little disassociated and uncomfortable. So dig into the symbolism on that one. Like I said, 146, boom. So we'll see, like I said, October made this whole experiment a sham. So it's gonna be a period of time. I'll try and do updates more frequently as I'm learning the value of accountability. So I'll keep it more frequent, more consistent, and we'll see where it goes from here. Right now my diet is mainly ketogenic. I've been doing a lot of uh, avocados, olives, uh, macadamia nuts, and coconut are my main foods. And then tempeh, tofu, uh, protein powders, uh, tiger nuts, loving them. So good. Um, so I've been mainly ketogenic. Some days I'll train really hard and I'll wake up feeling like, hey, I probably should have had some carbs last night. So on some days that I eat uh, or train really hard, I'm gonna hit more like beans, um, kidney beans, love them, so good. Um, lentils, things like that. Oh, purple sweet potatoes. Awesome guys, uh, that's the update. I'm gonna keep it rolling, keep it going, and on to the next, any questions, Please ask and keep this conversation going. Lots of love. Peace.